you Mercedesing. In this video, we're going to be talking about the sounds. If any of my videos help you repair your car, then please hit the button thanks. If you, yeah, you want to be the first one to watch my videos as they are fully uploaded, then become a supporter of the channel. And if you want to watch the service manuals, then become a donor. Thanks. If you also want to, to be one of uh, the members on the Patreon, I will uh, leave you the link here. Yes, about tiny things. There are tiny things that make <clears throat> our lives, believe it or not. Well, Imagine that you want to trace your issue and you have tried this and that, all the sensors, the mechanical part of the system, and then, aha, it must be OVP. Or is it uh, the ECU? Now I'm going to tell you how you're going to be 100% sure that you don't have an issue with your OVP relay nor with your ECU. If you turn the ignition on and you hear the sound, And again. This sound means that your idle control valve is, is working. If you ask yourselves, what does it have to do with uh, this issue? Well, look now and observe how you must think when uh, repairing uh, KE. If your idle control valve is working and that was the sign that the idle control valve is working. Let's see how it's connected at all. It has its power supply, it has its ground. Its power supply is connected to the OVP, to the Over Voltage Protection Relay, to the contact 87L. And its ground is connected to the pin number 3 on the ECU. So, now, let's resume. If it's working, that means that your OVP is working together with its contacts 87E, 87L, its power supply, ground, its uh, ignition on, and for the newer generations, uh, two more of them with uh, the contact 30A. This means that your ECU is working as well, 
because the ECU gets its power supply from the OVP, contact 87E, and the ground is on uh, the contact 20. So, the OVP is working, the ECU is working, and thereby also the idle control valve is working. That what you have heard. That was 12 volts, so that means that you get 12 volts to your ECU. And at 12 volts, it's completely open. I mean, the ICV. And no voltage at all, it's open. I was speaking about that. I will leave you the link here. <laughs> so you can then watch those videos, watch them. It must be that way, because if the wires fail, then it must remain open for the engine to remain on. And if the wires on the EHA fail, then the baffle plate must be on its mechanical position so that the the ideal pressure difference must remain as it is, so that the car will, would uh, run without the ECU. So this was just a quick video, just to show you how you should uh, think about some things when uh, diagnosing something. This may help you, I believe. And till some next one, get your Mercedes -ing. So, if you liked this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Then I would kindly ask you not to hit the button uh, skip ad. That is going to help me a lot. And till some next one. Happy Mercedes Sync. Bye.